guys welcome back to my channel thanks for coming back uh, this week I wanted to show you how to design a floppy hat and put some fun designs on it so this is one I picked up at Joe Fresh for I think like eight dollars and they're on sale right now uh, they're originally 12 so it's a good time to go pick them up and I wanted to put little flamingos on it because I don't know why right now but I'm kind of obsessed with flamingos so this is how it turned out which I'm actually really happy with. I think this is one of my favorite DIYs that I've done in a really long time. So I really hope you guys like it as well. So let's get started and go Flamingos! For this DIY you're going to want a floppy hat, some tape, a flamingo stencil and I just printed off a stencil from Google Images. I'll put the link below and then cut around the edges of it. You also need a paintbrush, local craft store of course, some pink fabric paint. I got mine at Michael's and it's kind of the puffy type so it helped not to spread onto the hat further outside the stencil as well as a black fabric marker which you can also find at a local craft store. Take your stencil and place it onto your hat where you want your animal or your tracer to be which mine is a flamingo and use the tape to help secure it in place. This will just help the paint from not spreading outside the stencil or you painting an area that you did not want painted. Next, take your paint and I do suggest using one of these fabric paints that have one the squeeze top. It's more of the puffy style and it really helped give a little more of a three-dimensional look to the flamingo on the hat, which I really did end up liking. And it also helped being a little more precise within the DIY. So what you want to do is take the squeeze top and trace around the area of the stencil and then fill in the area with a little bit of paint and then use your paintbrush to help fill in the extra area that is not covered. This will just help you not use too much paint and it'll also dry a lot quicker and just have a nicer look to it by the end. For the flamingo's legs, I opted for using a black fabric marker, but you could also use black paint if you have that handy. It's really just preference, but I do find the fabric marker was easier to use just within these smaller areas of the animal. So just fill in the leg area with the marker or paint, and once you're finished that, you can peel off the tape from your flamingo and the shape is complete. I wanted to cover my whole hat with flamingos so what I did was I moved my stencil over a few inches and continued the last few steps around the whole hat. In the end I did about six flamingos around the whole hat. Just every other flamingo I decided to change up the, lay, the way the legs were designed. So while using the fabric marker I did the straight line within the stencil and then took the stencil off and just freehanded a cross legged on the flamingo. And I really found this added a lot more character and design to the hat and I really liked the, how it turned out in the end. This was a last impulse decision and I wanted to add little eyeballs to my flamingos just to make them have, I don't know, just make them look cuter. So with my fabric paint that I just had sitting around, I added a little eyeball to it and I just used this instead of the fabric marker because the paint was still wet and basically I was just impatient and wanted to finish it. You can't hear right now but there's music playing downstairs which is why I'm jamming right now. But I hope you guys like that DIY and remember if you don't like flamingos like really try any animal on them. And Michael sells these like packs of stencils that you can use which I originally bought thinking there would be a flamingo in it but there wasn't which is why I went to Google and typed one in and cut my own little stencil out and like I said before I'm going to put the link to the stencil that I used in the description box below just to help you out if you are looking for the similar type of look that I created and if you ever tried this DIY or any others hashtag it with Nell DIY at Nell Creations so I'd love to see it on social media and yeah, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next week. Bye.